Hey everybody, today we're going to have a conversation about DNA and RNA viruses. So this is kind of important because what we're going to talk about is a nice way to remember these. I found this information on the internet. It was pretty helpful on a fellow YouTuber. So if you want to look around, you can probably find it. And it might actually be a little more clear than this. But for today's purposes, it'll help me learn it and explain it. So um, basically, the way we're going to remember this is to first look at DNA viruses. So we got DNA viruses. And then we'll also look at RNA viruses. And we just have kind of a, a tree uh, ooh, RNA viruses. We have a tree that we're going to use to help us remember each of these types of viruses. So we classify them first by what type of nucleic acid. And then we're going to classify them by um, if they are positive sense or negative sense. Um, for our purposes, if it's positive sense, we're going to be seeing it also be icosahedral, which is really nice to remember, icosahedral. And if it's a negative sense, we'll see it being helical. Okay? And then, in addition to that, we're going to be, um, going to be looking at uh, if it's naked or enveloped. So naked or enveloped, enveloped. Okay? So, this is kind of how we're going to classify them all. So we're going to start off with the DNA viruses. So here we have our DNA viruses right here. And we'll remember that these viruses are icosahedral. Oh! Dang, I'm just learning how to use this. They're all icosahedral. So that's what we're going to learn here. The DNA viruses are icosahedral. And that's important to remember. And they're usually all positive sense. We'll learn a couple of ex, ex, um, a couple exceptions to that. But we're also now going to talk about how some of them are naked and some of them are enveloped. Great. So the first one that we're going to talk about are the naked ones. So we have B19, uh, sorry, um, parvovirus. Parvo. And then we're going to have an adenovirus. Adeno. And then we have the papillomavirus, papilloma. And then we have the polyomavirus, polyoma, polyoma virus. And then in addition to these, we're going to have the hepadenovirus or hepadenovirus. And then we have herpes. And then we're going to have the pox virus. To remember this, we can just look at the first letters of each of these were, uh, virus families. So we have HAP, 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 HAP. And that's just a nice mnemonic, P-A-P-P-H-H-P. -P -P -H -H -P. And we're going to need to remember that hapadino comes before herpes, and that's important. We'll learn that in just a moment. So just remember this is alphabetical, hap and then herp. So that'll help you remember. So we're now going to talk about the different types of parvoviruses. So there's only one here. We just have B19. Pretty easy to remember. Adeno, you just have adenovirus. So adeno, adeno. Papilloma, we have the human papillomavirus, cervical cancer, and that's Pretty easy to remember right there. Um, papilloma, human papillomavirus. And then we have our polyomaviruses, which are is common, but it's the JC. And then the BC virus. I just remember Jesus Christ and before Christ. That's pretty easy to remember those ones. The hap uh, hap hapadino, I think of Flintstones, hapadino, but hapadinoviruses. Those are your H hepatitis B, HPV. And then you also have your herpes virus, which is a, a pretty large family of viruses, but it's pretty easy to remember. There's just a few of them here, so we're going to go herpes simplex virus 1 and 2. So there's two of them. And then we have our EBD, Epstein-Barr virus. Oh, EBV, Epstein-Barr virus. Then we have our CMV, CMV. And then we have our Vircella zoster virus. And then in addition to that, we're going to have our HV6 and 8. Remember, H is the um, Kapo, uh, Kaposi, 
papyrus. I hope I, I you know I don't know if I'm spelling any of these right, so we're just gonna go for this. Um, and then our pox viruses, those are pretty easy to remember. We have our chicken pox. No, not our chicken pox, because that's a pyramidal zoster virus. We have our cow pox. So it's not the same animal on the farm, it's the cow, cow pox. And then we also have our smallpox. Smallpox. And then in addition to that, we have our molluscinum, or mollusum. <laughs> By too many molluscinas. Okay, mollusum contagiosum. Contagiosum. Oh, I ran out of room. Okay, mollusum contagiosum. And that is the DNA viruses. A couple little things about DNA viruses. So we're going to look here at very important aspects of exceptions. So parvo is the smallest. And so because it's the smallest, this is actually single stranded. So single stranded right here single stranded and that's important because it's also going to be a negative sense and not the positive sense like the rest of them um, a couple other little things we come in here and we circle the hapadino like this we just circle around the two middle here and that reminds us that they are circular circular dna and that's important remember how we remember that the hap and hr are in alphabetical order that'll help you to get these two in the right order when you're doing this on your own. Um, and then in addition to that, we're going to remember that the pox virus down here is pretty big. It's the biggest. We have the smallest and the biggest. So this replicates in the cytoplasm. Cytoplasm. Plasm. Cytoplasm. And that's pretty much it for remembering kind of important things about this. So now we're going to go on to our RNA viruses. All right, so today we're going to talk about the RNA viruses now. And the RNA viruses are a lot more than the DNA viruses. Um, and we have both icosahedral and helical viruses. So remember, positive sense, negative sense. Um, icosahedral or positive sense viruses are going to be both naked and envelope. However, helical uh, viruses will not have any, uh, have any that are enveloped so or any of it are naked so this is going to go away and we are now going to put on here for the enveloped so enveloped enveloped okay important okay anyway so from here we can now put in a little bit of an acronym to remember each of these viruses it's kind of tricky to remember so we're going to start off with the acronym and then we'll put in the family names so first we're going to go for chirpy so this stands for the naked viruses so chirpy chirp r p c h r p and then um, crafty c r F T crafty so chirpy crafty bad prop and this is important to remember because we have three families of viruses that we've talked about here so we first have our chirpy ones which are our naked ones that are icosahedral and then we have our enveloped right here and that's our crafty and then our bad prof remember these are all enveloped right all enveloped bad prof so here's each of the families so now we're going to go through each of these really quickly and just explain what each of these letters mean so cryptic right now but not in a moment so this is our location so we're going to have khaleesi virus khaleesi so like california khaleesi viruses and then here we're going to have rio viruses rio viruses just like Rio de Janeiro. And then we're going to have our HEPI viruses. HEPI, because California, that's where all the hippies live, or HEP, or HIP, whatever you think. If you're in California, you're HEP. If you are not, you call them hippies. And then we have P, the P coronaviruses. P coronaviruses. And just think of Rio de Janeiro, they eat lots of spicy food. Um, and then crafty viruses, these are the party viruses. So places, party. Crafty is corona. 
just like a nice cold beer. Um, if you're from BYU, you don't drink it, so it'll be a root beer, Corona, and retro. Because you're having a retrovirus. And then you got Flava Flav, which is our Flavivirus. 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 And then you've got him coming to the party with a toga. Toga viruses. Okay, and then down here we've got our um, Bunya virus. Arena virus, just like think about sand, arena, and then delta, and then these are kind of cool. These are the mixo virus. We've got paramixo, paramixo, and then you've got rhabdo, like rhabdomyolysis, rhabdo, rhabdo, and then you have ortho mixo, ortho mixo. That's where your flu is, mixo, and then you've got your phylo viruses, phylo. Okay, so now we're going to go over the viruses that you have. So we got Khaleesi virus. That one is just your nor norovirus. Norovirus. And then that also makes you have diarrhea. So I think California and Rio, when you go there, you're going to get your rotaviruses. Roto. Rotoviruses. And that's where you're going to have diarrhea virus. You also have your cultivirus. Think of a cult. Cult. So that horse living in Rio by the river. Cultivirus. And then hep B virus, that's a pretty easy one. Just remember, hep E, hepatitis E. Um, so H, E, V, hep E virus. And then the coronaviruses, just remember the acronym PERCH, PERCH. So this is pretty easy to remember. You got polio, polio, echo, rhino, Um, Kasaki and HAV. So Kasaki, Kasaki, or Coxie, and HAV, hepatitis A. And then your coronaviruses, you got Corona, and your SARS, retroviruses, that's your HIV, and your HTLV virus. Your flaviviruses, this one is kind of weird. Just have to remember that flava flava is washed up. So you've got your washed up. So that's a, remember, W-S-H, washed up, D-Y, washed up. And here we'll go for West Nile. So West Nile. And we'll go for St. Louis. Encephalitis, Enceph. And then we're going to go for Hepatitis C. And then we're going to go for dengue. And then we're going to go for yellow fever, yellow. In addition to that, you got the toga viruses, which is rubella. And eastern and western equine viruses. Think of rubella as a pretty woman with horses. Rubella viruses. Rubella. Beautiful blonde. And then you got the bunya viruses. Um, and here we're going to just kind of put them on there. So you're going to get your California encephalitis, just like your St. Louis encephalitis with the flab. And then you get your Crimea Congo, Hanta virus, and Rift Valley, which is also a sandfly virus. So you got all of those here for bunya viruses. Next two that we got are the arena viruses, which is the Lassa virus, and the LCMV virus. And then you have your Delta virus, which is your hepatitis D virus. The next set's a really important set of viruses, the paramyxovirus, P. R and M are right here, so you can remember para, mixo, RSV, mumps, and measles, so two for the M's. Remember that this measles is called the rubiola virus, rubiola, rubiola virus. It is also, it's not confused with the rubella virus. This causes German measles, German. Just remember, Germans are hot, hot lots. Okay, just bring it home. We got our rhabdoviruses, which is our rabivirus, our influenza, which is our orthomixo, and our phylo, which are kind of freaky out ones, which are Ebola and Mar Marburg viruses. Now here for our exceptions, we have our bad viruses, which are right here. Okay, those have circular DNA, important to remember. Our or viruses, those replicate in the nucleus, which is a little weird for RNA because remember it likes the cytoplasm. That would be our orthomixo. So we're going to put a diamond over orthomixo. And then we're also going to put in one over retro because it likes to go into the nucleus. Our exceptions are borers are segmented, rhabdo is a bullet, and corona is helical.